Hello everyone and welcome back in a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to host your website 24-7 for free and you'll get a domain name like Caramex because that's my uh, like GitHub account name so caramex.github.io and in the next video I'll be showing you how to have a free domain name like caramex.ml something like that. So now we're gonna need to uh, a GitHub account. So let me create a new repo and let's name it. You should name it your same like your name. So it will be Kerm X32 and then dot github.io. Okay. So make sure your username then dot github.io because if you didn't put your username, so you will have something like this. If my username is Caramix, so I will have something like, let me type it over here, I'll have something like caramx32.github.io slash the repository name that it will be maybe like anything like repo name slash like index.html and we don't want this whole mess, we just want this, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So you must have it as public because if it's private, uh, you need to pay money. I guess like seven dollars a month. I don't really remember, but you need uh, you need to make it public so it's free. Now create repo. Now amazing. You gonna need uh, something called uh, desktop dot github.com so you're gonna need to download uh, github desktop okay so after you download it let's open it and you're gonna have if like if it's the first time for you to open it you're gonna have something like this and you just need to press on uh, clone repository from internet if you already have uh, used it so you gonna just press on here add clone repo so here you're gonna just search for your repository name and clone it. Now I got it over here. So the next step is that's my website folder. Okay, you're gonna open it and I'm gonna copy everything inside the website folder. So I'm gonna just copy and go to documents and then you'll find GitHub. Then here you'll find your repository name that it will be here um, caramix, uh, dot get like 32.github.io and here so one thing you know you cannot have your index.html in a folder so what you're gonna do is to get it out let me do this and get my index out okay that's very important so the index will be here else it will not work so for sure after you get it out we gonna need to make some changes because the index is connected with the script and connected with the images and css so you're gonna press here and open with visual studio code because that's my editor now it is opened i see so i need to change things like this okay so I'm gonna make, have to delete one dot over here and one dot over here and for sure with this too but let me actually do something let me like open the whole folder with this So over here I'm gonna press on open folder and documents and where is github? Yeah over here and then here this one. Okay, so now for some reason my MacBook just randomly generate this called ds.store. I don't really care about it. That's like that's only my MacBook, it you will not have it. So here, 
after I did that I just have to make sure that it is working so let's connect the CSS so dot slash CSS and index CSS amazing and the picture have the same I guess and everything looks fine but here let that be uh, this so it will be dot slash HTML like that and here dot slash HTML and projects and here dot slash HTML dot report so what I just did if you don't understand I just connected because it, it was different different because the index was in this folder sorry this file again okay. here was in this folder with the other pages but I got it out because it should be out should not be in folder so now let me also I guess delete that So now we are ready to go, I guess, yeah, wait, yes, we are ready to go, I guess, yeah. So now, after I have it in my GitHub folder, let me get this back, and let me open GitHub desktop again, I will have those over here, that means that it is working, that's good. So now if I press on this and type just any summary like my website, it don't really matter. And I'll press on commit master and then publish branch. This is gonna take like 5 seconds publishing a branch. And here it is already published. So now if I go back here and reload this page, as you can see I got them over here and that's pretty amazing. So now if you go to settings and you scroll down all the way down you're gonna have something like this but it is not the exact same thing as this one you're gonna just have this as none you gonna choose it and choose main or master okay and then save and make sure it is root okay now that's my website link as you can see okay, if I opened it as you can see I have it over here and it is opened and it is fully working but here it will not be actually really working or wait it is actually working ah yeah if you don't know why this didn't work because I didn't change it here as you can see I just changed here I, I just have to uh, edit my uh, like thing over here, let me show you. Let me go to my code. And change that here in commands. And do like that. Let me go down a little bit. Yeah, here. I just must have it as slash, uh, dot slash, okay? So it's gonna teleport out of it, okay? J just do it with all of the, uh, like the rest, and then let's try the GitHub repo now. Dot GitHub.io. As you can see, I'm over here. If I go to maybe commands and try to go back to home, yes, it didn't update yet, probably. Okay, now it is here. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be, that's it and ciao.